Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom UIs with the Synapse Z Executor. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we jump into today's video, if you are interested in purchasing the Synapse Z Executor, then you can do it from the first link in the description, which will take you over to my website. Now, we do have the 7-day and the 30-day keys in stock. And of course, we do have the best prices on the market. So make sure you check that out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. Now, I'll go ahead and show you two custom UIs for the Synapse Z Executor. Both of those are on the screen right now. The one on the left is the pretty much the exact same copy of the Synapse X Executor, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And of course, on the right side, we do have the Cramp UI, which was pretty popular with the Krampus Executor. So of course, the downloads for the custom UIs will be linked down in the description below. This is the first link, which is the UI of Synapse X. And of course, this is the second link, which will take you to Cramp UI. Now to download it, you simply go ahead and click on this option right here. And to download Cramp UI, you simply go ahead and click on this right here, and that will allow you to download it. Once you do have it downloaded, and you extract the files, it should bring you up with a folder like this. This is for the Synapse X interface, and of course, this is for the Cramp UI. Now, to actually use the custom UIs, you need to firstly go into your original Synapse Z executor folder and go ahead and copy the loader that you have downloaded. And then go ahead and open up your Synapse X UI or your Cramp UI and go into the folder and go ahead and paste in the loader. So make sure you paste the loader in just like that. And in the Synapse X folder, I also have it pasted over here. And once you have done that, go ahead and click on the Synapse Bootstrapper and that will start downloading all of the files just like that. Now with the Synapse X interface, you do also get the scripts folder, which you can paste your scripts into. And of course, you will get to see them inside your actual UI. And of course, you also have the script hub, which is the exact same as the Synapse X script hub. And once you have loaded into your game, simply go ahead and click on attach and it will ask you for your account key remember this isn't your actual key that you purchased from my store this is the account key that you get through the bot when you register your account after purchase so let me go ahead and grab mine right now so once you go ahead and paste your account key and you click on ok that will allow you to actually attach the executor so if i do click on attach now it says already injected and at this point you can go ahead and execute any script so for example if i execute this script as you can see it works flawlessly now with cramp ui you simply want to go into the cramp ui folder and of course make sure you've got the loader pasted in here as well and of course you can also do the same thing with the script so you simply go into the scripts folder and you can paste your script in and that will allow you to see the script on the actual ui so once you're pretty much ready to go you simply want to click on this and once you do have that open you can now jump into any game so let's go ahead and load into a game right now and as soon as the game starts it will give you the button to inject so when you do click on inject it will turn on orange for a couple of seconds and once it turns green that means it has injected just like that and at this point you can see your scripts from the scripts folder and of course if you do want to paste your own script in here you can also do that so now with the cramp ui if you're not getting the inject button just go into settings scroll down and make sure you got the loader in the actual folder like i've shown you and of course go ahead and click on check for loader and that should say present after you have done everything correctly so that's pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you did like it if you did then make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching